So today I'm going to be talking about your Raspberry Pi. And while you can just take it right out of the box and plug it into a USB battery and have it all ready to go and running, it's more interesting if you take and build your own case for your Raspberry Pi. So today I'm going to be talking about building the case for your Raspberry Pi. And what I have here is a Hoffman lighting enclosure and what I did is I took and put a plug in the back there's a plug on the top and a magnetic and I made the front uh, magnetic release on the inside what we have here is a 5 volt USB power supply capable of supplying 1 amp. We have our USB hub power supply and you need a powered USB hub like this. An unpowered one like this is not going to cut it so we'll just toss that away. And then what you need for your uh, Raspberry Pi to put it in a box is something to go on the bottom to keep these contacts from being shorted to the metal case. So what I did is I took the, uh, the pink um, fluff stuff here that it was packaged in and I fit it back in this corner. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out a couple holes for the USB, for the... Uh, Ethernet for the eight and for the HDMI, and then we can take this cable, put it in here, and just and what I'm going to do with this cable is I'm going to trim it down, install a fan into the box, and hook that up to this one amp because the Raspberry Pi only needs about. 0.7 of an amp, and this 5 volt fan needs about, let's see here, needs the rest of that amp. So this fan will be in the box somewhere around here. Now, to connect all these power supplies, what I did is I took flag connectors like this, and what you do with these is you put a wire, first you gotta strip it though, but you put the wire in this end and you crimp down on it with a pliers and then I found that these 14, 16 gauge flag connectors were the perfect size to fit over the uh, the prongs on the uh, power supply. Next, I hooked everything up through Wagos. And basically what you do is you strip the ends of the wires, you open up a Wago like that, you put it in, and you close it. And that's how you build the inside of a Raspberry Pi box. And I'll show it to you later when I have it all done. Okay, so here is the finished Raspberry Pi case. As you can see, I cut some holes in it for the USB, Ethernet, and HDMI ports. And, yep, the USB port will fit right in there. Now all I have to do is fasten this stuff down and seal it up. So let's see what it looks like sealed up first. that up so it fits inside and there we go that's what the Raspberry Pi looks like once it fits inside of my case looks pretty good so okay so now we have a Raspberry Pi our TV, 
our keyboard, our mouse, everything's all hooked up and ready to go. So, what we do is we plug it in. Okay, so now we can see it booting up, and the login should be high. Yeah, it's plugged in.